Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, transcribed and starring the entire Nelson family, Ozzie, Harriet, David, and Ricky. I'd say the Nelson's Den is a virtual beehive of activity this afternoon. Just look at Ricky. He's... Hmm. He seems to be stretched out on the floor. Well, there's David. He's... He's lounging on the couch. Well, at least Ozzie should be... Oh, that's Ozzie slumped in the armchair. <laughs> well, after all, even the bees have to rest sometimes. Well, David? Well, what, little man? Well, what should we do? Why can't we just relax? That's a waste of valuable time. I'm not getting any younger, you know. <laughs> How about playing some cards? Not with you. Who wants to play fish all afternoon? Okay, then let's set up the chessboard. Hey, I didn't know you could play chess, Rick. Oh, well, he's pretty good. Last time we played, he knocked off all my men with only five shots from his bean shooter. <laughs> well, it's pretty quiet in here. Oh, yeah. Well, we're trying to think of something to do. I suggested cards. I'll volunteer for a round of double solitaire. You're on, Mom. I'll get the card table. Okay, it's in the closet. Mom, I got a feeling that we've been eliminated. <laughs> How am I supposed to get the card table out with all this junk in front of it? This big box is in the way. Uh, drag it out here, Dave. This is hard to handle. Oh, look out for the footstool. <laughs> Boy, what style? Now give us a swan dive. <laughs> be funny. In case you didn't notice, the thing I dropped is your electric train. You mean that's what it used to be? Oh, I don't think I heard it. Didn't drop very far. Heck, it's getting pretty old anyway. Why don't you just dump it back in the box? Don't you think you ought to check it over first? Yeah, I guess so. Let's see. Yeah, it's my electric train. Just dump it back in the box. <laughs> well, as the man said when we bought it, there's nothing like an electric train to make a small boy go wild with delight. <laughs> Come to think of it, Rick, you haven't played with your train for quite a while. I guess I just grew out of it. I'm not a small boy anymore. No, but you're small. The question is, a small what? <laughs> Rick, as long as you're not using your train, why don't you carry it out to the garage? It's a lot handier in the closet. I thought you weren't interested in it anymore. I'm not, but I'm not interested in carrying it out to the garage either. <laughs> But you will do it, won't you? I don't think there's any doubt about that. You want to give me a hand, Pop? Uh, oh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I, I was just uh, looking at the caboose. <laughs> it's even got a little stove inside. Yeah, it's pretty corny. Uh, I don't think so. You know, this train's a pretty expensive toy just to store away. Maybe you ought to give it another try first. Gee, it doesn't interest me anymore. All it does is go round and round. Ricky can't stand the competition. <laughs> Listen, David, I'm not as dumb as you think. I'd show you if I had a chemistry set. What's this about a chemistry set? Oh, I wish I had one. Georgie Dunkel's got a set, and we've been working on a big experiment. I can see the headlines now. Ricky Nelson invents colored water. <laughs> I think I know how you could get a chemistry set. Golly, how? Well, you're tired of your train, and I think the hobby shop takes in trade-ins. Just put two and two together. Be careful, Mom. Don't overtax them. Hey, that's a swell idea. What do you think, Pop? Well, the oil car looks real... Oh, well, yeah, I, I suppose it'd make you a train. Well, I'll do it the first thing in the morning. i got to get over to George's now. We're about to wind up our big experiment. Now, what are you making? Well, I'd rather not say with David here. Besides, what's so funny about colored water? <laughs> Harry, do you think it's a good idea to make a trade for a chemistry set? Ricky's interest in the train's liable to revive one of these days. Oh, I agree. It'll probably revive about the time he has a son of his own. <laughs> well, what do you mean? Well, put down the coal car and I'll explain. Oh. <laughs> Don't be silly. Look and see if it was damaged. The old gag about fathers and trains hardly concerns me. Oh? I thought I caught a conductor's gleam in your eye. <laughs> no, not the type. Uh, aren't you and David going shopping or something? 
Mm, pretty soon. Maybe if you went a little early, you'd avoid some of the crowds. Oh, we'll have plenty of time. Just it's a, it's a beautiful day out. Yes, it is. <laughs> well, come on, get going so I can set this train up. <laughs> Just a minute. Ah, oh, hi, Thorny. Hi, Oz. What's going on in here? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, it's pretty crushing. I swear I heard a long, low whistle when I walked by. Oh, uh, uh, that was uh, <laughs> Ricky's train whistle. Uh, that's the last time I'll believe those hair oil ads. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I just saw Ricky across the street. How could he be running the train if he isn't here? Uh... Well, maybe you just thought you heard the whistle, Thorny. Maybe. Where's Harriet and David? Uh, they went down the store. Uh-huh. You're all alone. Just you and the train. No, 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 just a minute, Thorny. If you think I was playing with Ricky's train, uh, well, I, I'm not the type to, to uh, uh, play with the kids' toys, and, and I have uh, uh, better things to do, and, and... And the engine is still warm. And the engine... Uh, now, Thorny, don't be... <laughs> Oz, it's nothing to be ashamed of. We all have to face second childhood sometime. Oh. <laughs> well, for your information, I was just trying to figure out what the thing is worth. Ricky wants to trade it in for a chemistry set. Hey, how lucky can you get? There's no end of exciting things a father can do with one of those chemistry sets. Sonny, <laughs> look, I'll admit that some men could be interested in a thing like this, but not me. Well, let's hope not. Want to help me put it in the box? Ricky's going to trade it in tomorrow. Okay. Say, why don't we take it down to the store for him? We can probably make a better deal than he can. Well, don't you think I ought to check with Ricky first? Why? You want him to get the best deal, don't you? Come on, let's take it down to Talbot's Hobby Shop. Well, what's the hurry? We can get it tomorrow. Well, do you think that's fair to make the boy wait that long for his chemistry set? Come on, let's go. No, Thorny, I don't think we should. Well, you're the boss. You know, I hear they have a real big model train layout down there at Talbot's. Oh, well, uh, Ricky is pretty eager for the chemistry outfit. And they let their customers operate it. Beautiful trains, just like the real thing. I'll get my coat. <laughs> Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, do you buy used electric trains? Well, yes. Uh, that is, we accept them as trade-ins if they're in good shape. Oh, oh. I think you'll find this one in excellent condition. It's only had one owner. And he was a little old man of 13. <laughs> it's my boy's train. He, he's getting a little tired of it, and he wants to exchange it for a chemistry set. I see. Well, it seems to be in fairly good condition. Yeah, it's in very good shape. It's just that my son feels he's outgrown this sort of thing. Uh, he might have lost interest because he doesn't have all the equipment. Now, if you'll step over here where we have our trains, I'll show you what I mean. Don't go, Oz. He's just trying to sell you something. Thorny, it won't hurt to look. Here we are. We're very proud of this setup. Oh. Hey, this is a real layout. Uh, don't lean too far over that rail. Our Rocket Express is due in any minute. It does look pretty realistic. You know, we've developed a few unusual railroad techniques here. Uh, you gentlemen are from the neighborhood, aren't you? Sure, why? Well, just checking. We don't want any spies in here from the Baltimore and Ohio. <laughs> hey, uh, what's that gimmick over there? Uh, that's our automatic cattle loader. Watch. Hey. It jiggles all the cows up the ramp and into the car. Hey, that's pretty darn clever. Come on, Oz, let's look at the chemistry set. Uh, just a minute, Thorny. Uh, would you mind showing me how you work this train? No, not at all. Now, this handle controls the speed. This button starts the train, and these levers work the switches. It's a foolproof system. <laughs> you don't know Mr. Nelson. Thorny, please. <laughs> Come on, Oz, let's trade in Ricky's train. Okay, okay, I I'm coming. 
say this handle controls the speed, huh? That's right. Go ahead and try it. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Boy, let it tear along. Make way for the express. Speak to me, Casey. Speak to me. Golly, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wreck it. No, there's no damage. It takes a while to get the neck of it. Oh, I, I, I suppose it does. Uh, here, I'll put it back on the track for you. No, no, no. We never touch the trains with our hands. Oh. Uh, we just bring the wrecker out of the roundhouse and use its crane to lift the cars. Uh, try it. It works on this set of controls. Oh, thanks. Take it easy. Oh, boy. This is a pretty efficient-looking crane. As soon as she gets around this turn... Well, have you got a record for picking up rec records? <laughs> well, uh, maybe we'd better use our hands. Gee, I, I, I'm sorry. I don't... I don't uh, it's all right. The, the, all the right. Knack of, uh, you know... I don't think you gentlemen realize how many grown men have taken up miniature railroading as a hobby. Oh. I know one boy who was trying to take up chemistry as a hobby. <laughs> right, Oz? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Thor Say, where did I put Ricky's train? Oh, it's right here. However, the trade-in value of a train like this is pretty small. Actually, it could be worth a lot more to keep it as a starter set for a real layout. Yes, yeah, so there's a point there. It's, uh... Uh, maybe we'd better bring him down and, and let him take a look. Oz, for heaven's sake. All right, Thorny, all right. I'll trade it. You could at least say, hi, dear, or hello, Ozzy, what's in the big box? I'm sorry. Hi, dear, hello, Ozzy, what's in the big box? Well, it just so happens to be the apple of our young son's eye, a brand new chemistry set. You didn't trade Ricky's train for that, did you? Well, certainly. It was your idea. Yes, but I'm willing to give you all the credit. Hey, what's in the big box, hi, Pop? <laughs> Oh, I, I'm glad I came with the box. I might not have gotten in. What's in the box, Pop? Well, it's a little surprise for a guy named Ricky. And now then, what would you like it to be most of all? That's easy. I'd like a new cattle loader and some automatic switches for my train. If I could find my train. <laughs> for your train? Sure. Boy, am I glad I didn't trade it in. Georgie and I are going to put both our trains together and make one terrific set. Can I open the box now? Uh, Ricky, uh, that advice about trading the train was very sound, uh, uh, your mother's advice. But, uh... <laughs> well, there are certain disappointments in life. Sometimes, uh, good intentions uh, go awry. Uh, things don't always come out as uh, we might like. Uh, uh, seemingly, that's a, a paradox at, at first blush, but uh, actually, and, and uh, it's, it's uh, uh, you do understand, uh, don't you, son? Oh, sure, Pop. Will you run through it again? <laughs> Dear, your father's trying to tell you that he traded your train for a chemistry set. You mean my train's gone? No, no. Uh, well, uh, yes, but uh, I'll get it right back. I'd sure like it back. But if you think I should have a chemistry No, set... no, no, no. Uh, actually, Rick, I think this chemistry is probably a, a little old for you. Uh, I'll go right down and get, our tr uh, get your train back. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Pop. Chemistry is kind of fun. Georgie and I invented a swell perfume. We gave some to his mother, and she said it smelled just like Canal Number no. 6. <laughs> Sounds delightful. It smells delightful, too. Boy, it sure is cold at the Dunkles with all the windows open. 
uh, uh, Rick, look, forget the chemistry set. I mean, we're, we're getting the train back, and maybe we'll get a, a new cattle loader. Oh, boy. Yes, sir, and some automatic switches, and, and a new water tower, and a gateman. And a new and, dress. And, and a tunnel, <laughs> and a crane, and a dump car. And a hat, and, and a fur hat, coat, and an alligator al bag. Alligator bag. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> You know, aren't you getting a little carried away? Oh, I'm with you, dear. Oh. <laughs> well, we'll see. Come, come on, I better get going. May I come along? I need some things downtown. Yeah, that was the idea. Come on. Boy, Georgie and I are going to have a swell layout. We'll railroad the Dunkles right out of their house. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why don't you set the big train set up right here? Yeah, I could set it up in my room so it wouldn't be in the way. Well, it, it's okay with me if you put it right here in the den. Yeah, but I could leave it up longer in my room. Well, I, I suppose so. Rick, come here a minute. Huh? Oh. Pa? Uh, yeah? Mom says we can run a spur into your room. <laughs> This is the place, Harriet. Where do you see their model railroad outfit? It's got everything we could possibly want. Oh, it's you, sir. Well, what can I do for you? Uh, it's, uh, it's about this chemistry set and my son. Now, don't worry, sir. You feed him lots of warm, soapy water, he'll be as good as new. <laughs> no, 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 it's nothing like that. Uh, uh, this chemistry set isn't exactly what he wanted. Oh, well, after all, it was only twelve ninety-five. No, no, it, it, it's not that. It's just that, uh, well, it, it's sort of a long, involved story. Uh, we'd like to exchange the chemistry set back for the train. Uh, uh yes, that, that, that's the uh, situation in a nutshell. Well, boys will change their minds. Uh, yeah, <laughs> now he wants his train back. Happens every day. How did you convince him? <laughs> oh, I, I, I didn't have anything to do with it. Uh, can we make the exchange? Oh, certainly. It'll take a minute. Now, let's see. I think my partner took your son's train into the back. Well, I'll show my wife your setup. I, I may be interested in a few accessories. Well, fine. Help yourself. You can run it if you like. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Aren't you a little worried I might wreck it again? No, no. I'll be right back. Confidentially, we find that our men customers drive much better when their wives are along. Oh. <laughs> I'll be careful. Harry, right, isn't that a swell layout? Yes, very nice. You know, the electric train is almost an American institution. I think every father owes one to his son. Yep, even if his son happens to be a daughter. <laughs> I'm afraid I have some bad news. Uh, my partner sold your son's train just a little while ago. Oh, that's a oh. shame. Gee. Well, do you have any other used trains? No, I'm afraid we don't. Hmm. Now, now, wait a minute. There is one thing I could do for you. Sell you a new train. Oh. Well, thanks, but uh, I don't really want to put out that much money. Oh, I'm sure we can find something reasonable. Here, just glance through this catalog. Oh. Hey, this one looks reasonable. Well, I'll bet Ricky will like it. It's uh, set number 100 for $20. Ozzy, I don't think so. Uh, no, Harry, believe me, this is a bargain. I don't mean to be rude, but what do you know about electric trains? Only what I read, dear. And that catalog says set number 20 for $100. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, I, I think I'll keep the chemistry set. Ricky will understand. I hope... It's okay, Pop, I understand If the train's gone, it's gone Anyway, I still have the chemistry set It's a pretty nice one, too Well, I uh, bet you have a lot of fun with it Sure I will, I suppose well, Come on, little man, I'll show you some stuff I learned in my chemistry class Okay, that should take about 30 seconds <laughs> I'm certainly proud of the way Ricky took the disappointment. Well, so am I. Say, maybe I'll get Ricky a, a new train for his birthday. Or, or next Christmas. He wants it now. 
By then, his interest will probably have changed. Yeah, I guess so. See, I, I don't suppose David... No. Say, Harriet... No, I'd rather have a new suit. Oh. <laughs> Just a thought. Say, uh, uh, don't let Thorny know how, how I feel about these uh, trains. Well, how come? Well, uh, you know, he, he, he thinks that they're silly. He accused me of being in my second childhood just because I, I looked at Ricky's train. Mom's oh. the word. Come on in, Thorny. Hello, Harriet. Hello, Oz. Hi, Thorny. What can I do for you? Just answer one question. You big crook, what's the idea of selling me a train without a transformer? <laughs> Wait a minute, what's in the box? Never mind, just hand over my transformer. Don't tell me you're the guy that bought Ricky's train. This isn't the Orient Express. <laughs> Good old Thorny, a real man's boy. Don't change the subject, just hand over my transformer. It isn't your transformer, I left it here by mistake, and it wasn't sold with the train. Then by George, you'll give me back every cent I put into this thing, every cent. Agreed. Uh, you seem awfully eager to get it back. How much do I owe you? Mm. Well, now, of course, there's carrying charges and delivery charges. Just forget it, just forget it. You can keep the train. Oh, now, Oz, I don't want it. Actually, old buddy, the only reason I bought it was to save you from yourself. I saw that mad glint in your eye. I, I, I knew that if I didn't snap it up, you'd be back to get it yourself. Well, that's very thoughtful. I doubt if it's true, however. Oz, believe me, my only thought was to clear your path of petty temptations so that you could aspire to greater things. But what's the use? Take it. It's yours for just $15 more than the man allowed you. $15 for what? For the cattle loader and switches I bought. Oh, you two. Honestly, it frightens me every time you leave the house alone. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it does sound a little silly. That was a pretty sneaky deal you tried to pull. Getting me to sell the train so you could buy it. Oz, I apologize. I should know better. Trains have meant trouble for me for the last 20 years. Ever since I stepped on Catherine's on the way to the altar. Hey, that's my train, isn't it? It sure looks like it. Well, uh, yeah, I guess it is, Rick. That's a, a new cattle loader there, too, and some switches. Oh, boy. Come on, David. Let's set it up. <laughs> Thorny, can you imagine us down there on our hands and knees playing with a toy like that? <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine what came over us. Our interest wouldn't have lasted five minutes. No. no. <laughs> uh, Rick, uh, those two wires go to the transformer. Oh, yeah. You hook up the cattle car, David. Okay, little man. You know, uh, Don, I think I'll join some kind of a, a book club. There's some off... Uh, Dave, I think the platform goes on the other side of the track. I don't think so, Pa. Ricky, those switches will never work in that position. No, no, Thorny. That's the best place. Oh, well, then I insist that we put our signal here. Well, okay. Let's see now. The wire to this switch should connect here. And this wire is probably the power supply to the track. David? Yeah? How in the heck do you play double solitaire? <laughs> Burn Smith saying, tune in again next week for another transcribed adventure of Ozzie and Harriet, starring Ozzie Nelson and Harriet Hilliard. United States Armed Forces Radio Service.